पर आप वापिस मैं आपको फोन करूंगा डिस्कनेक्ट हुआ था तो स्पीकर का है तेज करने का बोलना ना सर बोले देर आर लॉट मेनी नेटवर्क इश्यूज सो नेटवर्क 
connectivity as it is poor so there is loss of connection and i am not able to take the lecture consistently am i audible so that whatever uh, i should be able to deliver i will uh, deliver that particular component of the lecture am i audible just uh, by writing or in the chat box just say that or mention that whether i am audible or not so that i can continue okay so in the last lecture means we are resuming from that point only because we were not able to cover or we were just able to cover few slides of the first lecture on that day last saturday so in that actually i talked that for a given description of a disease if you are going to write an essay in that essay there are many meaningful things which can be written so i talked about malaria if someone is asking you what is malaria so we will be writing all this but if you are going to divide uh, that particular essay in different components then we can easily identify that <coughs> which disease description is this what is the frequency who are the people who are suffering right and what is the cause then uh, what are the various risk factors so in this we are going to or we are knowing about many important epidemiological determinants right these are called epidemiological determinants and uh, i think we have already covered this yes and we have also seen this definition also so the study of frequency distribution and determinants of disease and health related states and events in human population and the application of this knowledge in prevention control and mitigation of these problems so once we know that what with what frequency the disease is occurring what is the distribution according to place that is uh, whether it is a rural disease whether it is an urban disease whether uh, younger age people are more susceptible for the disease or uh, older age people uh, geriatric people uh, this uh, adolescent or maternal and uh, this antenatal women pregnant women so anti during antenatal care or postnatal care the disease is affecting more so like we are able to know many facets so these are nothing but determinants which determine the disease right and once we know this we can easily apply uh, the preventive and control measures so that we can stop or we then we can control mitigate is to reduce actually the problems right to control so overall if you are see if you see that epidemiology it is made up of we can split that into three uh, um we can say like one is the main root and other two are prefix and suffix so ep is upon and demo this is the root word population and logi is study scientific study of that particular domain so it's the people's study it's not related to demography demography is different right here we are going to see particularly about disease and its nature in population so historical evidences which can prove that even before the event even before the actually the root cause or the agent is identified the application of preventive and control measures actually helped in controlling the disease so it's ultimately uh, for vaccine and for exact uh, chemotherapy that is the medicine you must know against what you are preparing that means you must know the agent but overall if we are saying for prevention you can definitely go for prevention without knowing the actual agent say suppose just uh, our current example of corona virus so vaccine preparation definitely it requires the genetic structure of the virus so without that the vaccine cannot be prepared definitely it must be known but it is a respiratory born disease we can very well apply the preventive measures we can very well apply the control measures to mitigate the disease so its application once we know that which particular type of disease is this and what can be done to prevent this so that can be very easily applied so that is the beauty of epidemiology epidemiology has helped humanity even before the scientific facts were discovered epidemiology has on a number of occasions shown the way to develop public health and clinical policies much before the actual biological mechanisms became evident so what is caused and how it is caused even before knowing that and uh, we will be seeing those things in example that without identification of the actual agent right without uh, actual biological mechanisms being known uh, many things were able to be controlled in the past right some of the notable instances are do you know who is he, he is 
Edward Jenner, and uh, what he did, he actually vaccination is related with this uh, person, Edward Jenner, and uh, he did just a simple logical experiment, and it was just based on his mere observation that uh, and observation and listening. He once heard. uh made one who fetches milk from cow cow maid that uh, i will not suffer from small pox because i have already had cow pox right so as mujhe sirf mujhe cow pox ho chuka hai isliye mujhe small pox nahi hoga so he heard that so he got interest in that that why if a person is having cow pox he is he or she is not suffering from small pox so he did an experiment and uh, he took out uh, he took out the material from the blister and uh, inoculated that particular material pus material from that blister into a boy named james fab right and uh, <coughs> uh he took out that from sara names and james fab was the boy uh, in which he inoculated and uh, over a serial he inoculated it serially right so many a times he inoculated and after some period of time he deliberately uh, inoculated that boy with smallpox virus that particular virus was taken uh, and he inoculated it but now to his surprise and to his amaze he found that the boy did not suffer from smallpox so as he was inoculated with the material from the lesions of uh, this uh, cow pox he was actually he did not get this disease small pox so it was this experiment that if someone is suffering from cow pox or someone suffered from cow pox it will help in uh, preventing that person from small pox so again like his ideology was suspected and uh, he was questioned but he was able to prove that so in england this is like uh, this i am talking about the situation which actually and his experimentation which he did in uh, england so he <coughs> proved that and uh, based on that the government also implied that yes now uh, this should be our strategy rather than going for any other thing this should be the strategy that in fact the persons with cow pox material right cow pox pus material so in that the person will not get small pox so this was his observation and uh, vaccination is actually a word which is derived from that so vacca means <coughs> vacca means cow actually so it has come from that right vaccination and uh, blossom was the name of the cow uh in his experimentation sara names was that lady and james fab was the boy in which he inoculated he is uh, james lind right and uh, okay in the first example just you saw that uh, the smallpox how it is caused and uh, what was there in the material it was not known clearly right but he was able to do that because he just made a uh sequence or made a like causal association that because of this the things may not be caused so, so just if we inoculate a particular uh, person with cowpox so that person will not suffer from smallpox so this was the point so you can just imagine that virus okay smallpox virus was identified much later and what is actually there in that pus material it was not clearly known but just by inoculating that he was able to prevent the uh, smallpox occurrence okay now he is james lin uh, to his credit like uh, he was credited with the identification that by giving vitamin c right ascorbic acid scurvy can be prevented see right now we all know about this thing and it's very simple thing that just 
if we want to prevent scurvy or what is the deficiency of vitamin c so vitamin c deficiency will cause scurvy but at those times in those times in 17th century all these things were not known right so the things becomes difficult whenever we want to prevent or control anything we must know what is what uh, means how this disease is caused or what is causing this disease once we know that we can able we will be able to prevent and control but if scurvy is there there is bleeding in gums there is internal bleeding also so there is hemorrhage and there is blood loss right so because of that because of the blood loss uh, the person is dying so what actually causes that bleeding nobody was knowing at that time and this was particularly a thing which happened in sailors he was a uh, this navy surgeon and uh, he found that he did an experimentation today if we are going to see that experimentation is very well called as rct randomized control trial you just search on google what is a randomized control trial randomized control trial is an experimentation in pure sense in which two groups are made and in one group right both the groups are very similar in nature and uh, to one group we will be giving the intervention and to other group we will be giving placebo so he did the same thing without knowing that this is in today's time it is known as rct right so rct is experimentation randomized control trial trial drugs the medicines which are coming in the market is by rcts vaccine which is coming in the market is by field trials right so these are experiments so at that time uh, he made a group of he six, six, he made he identified two sailors so there were 12 sailors who were identified by him and uh, in total six groups were made so in each of these six groups he gave certain uh, food item right to one group he gave vitamin c rich food and to his surprise uh he found that the group to which vitamin c was given means other groups were also given something like vinegar cedar oil and other things so the group which were given or which were provided with vitamin c were not found to be having symptoms of scurvy now we know that vitamin c what is there in citrus fruits right apne kha liya citrus fruit lekin uske andar exactly biochemical name kya hai like kya hai ki uske andar jo prevent kar raha Uh, scurvy that it stops the bleeding and hemorrhagic tendencies right so what is that exactly so that was not known just by giving or supplying vitamin c rich food vitamin c mai abhi bol raha hu lekin us time pe aisa kuch pata nahi tha by supplying this citrus fruits right uh, lemon lime and then oranges so the scurvy was prevented again scurvy bhi us time pe nahi pata tha ye sab baad mein naam aaya so by his experimentation he was able to identify that we can supply vitamin c which means this uh, citrus fruits and in that we can prevent the manifestations of scurvy right so his experiment was very successful and uh, the government uh, actually uh, right and uh, this the name of the ship in which it did his experiment was salisbury so the by his experimentation the he was he was able to prove that and the government actually made a point that all the people I means sailors and the crew who were on board the ship they must be supplied with rations containing a high amount of citrus fruits and really the I means the incidence of scurvy went down so this was his experiment he was sir james lind and uh, he did his experimentation james lind right see all these photographs are also in the department of community medicine in the lobby whenever you happen to come to the department of community medicine when this uh, this we can say this online classes when it is over and uh, when uh, you will be coming to the department you just see the photographs of these personalities which are there in the corridor of department of community medicine right so these photographs are there with some information also
okay this i talked in the brief like those were the photographs so edward jenner british physician heard from dairy mate i won't get smallpox because i already had cowpox so see uh, as a student of epidemiology you must keep your senses open so that uh, the things which you are listening the things which you are seeing does make a scientific impact on you right it actually what is invention and what is a uh, uh, like investigation or what is what is the identification of a new thing or we can say invention or creation it is nothing but a scientific inquiry in your mind so keep your all the senses open so that you can perceive the things from nature and from your surroundings this i talked right who is he he is semelvis much talked in current context he is semelvis uh, ignaz semelvis right so what he did see uh, we saw that edward jenner and james lynn and they were able to prove their point right edward jenner was able to prove that vaccination does have a point and uh, we can prevent smallpox and same way james lind also proved that by supplying the citrus fruits we can able we are able to prevent scurvy but he was not able to prove right so he died uh, as a uh, heartbroken person and uh, his findings were not taken up and he died without proving what he was what he had put as a hypothesis what he did and what he put again he was a surgeon and uh, he actually in today's context it's very important what are the various preventive measures of corona preventive measures of corona includes maintaining a safer distance of 2 uh, meters right okay then wearing mask then hand hygiene right washing the hands frequently whenever frequently means whenever you feel that you are exposed to some agent or uh, it might get the infection so here ignaz semelvis stressed on the point of hand hygiene or hand washing his observation was that in earlier times uh, there was no concept of hand washing so the students medical students i am talking about 18th century in the that particular time medical students used to uh, visit the post mortem room autopsies where they used to touch the dead bodies and after doing that or after having that inspection during that uh, mortem condition these medical students used to come to directly the maternity ward right and there they used to examine the females uh, who were about to deliver so in that case they were actually there was a rise on uh, this puerperal fever right uh, during this pregnancy so that rise of fever he actually made a point that there is something on hand the medical students when they examined the not examined when they were there in this uh, autopsies and when the autopsies were conducted so while touching the dead bodies they must have something on their hand which is considered as contagion and this contagion is transmitted to these pregnant females right so during that uh, the infection is there and puerperal fever actually was seen in these women so he told that there is something on hand right what is it it was not known and he also suggested that washing of hand should be done prior to touching but he was not able to prove that and also uh, adversaries are very common when you are wanting to prove something and if uh, you find that other people are united you are very much in a fix that you are not able to prove because other people have united against you and uh, you are the single person so not able to prove so it was a situation with him also he was not able to prove because all the people all the scientific people in those times they refuted his hypothesis that there is nothing on hand but a century later ignaz simmel was proved right and uh, 
there are germs which are on the hand which is actually uh, they are sticked on the hands but it is it is not visible and it is transmitted whenever the person is touching some surface or some uh, person right this is what we are also saying in corona or in any like respiratory one infections just if you have touched some surface if you have touched the belongings of a diseased person wash your hands right because the visible the germs are not visible the microbes are not visible so this was the point which was put out by ignas samelius right so this is what i actually talked now he are you able to get me is the thing are the things clear okay so fine he is also considered as father of public health right father of public health in different textbooks you may see father of public health as two persons one is person and other is disease right in many textbook father of public health is also written as one disease which he identified that this is transmitted by this okay uh to by his name there was one question in kbc also that who is considered as father of public health and uh, his name was there but that question was wrongly attempted and that question was something of like of higher order so he is the john snow right he was an aesthetist but by his observation but by his observation he was able to find linkage see whenever you are able to find linkage that also proves so many things and it will help you in the prevention and control now hiv aids transmitted by sexual route by injections right by uh, from mother to child right by in, in case of injectable drug users okay by blood transfusion we all know this and it is not transmitted by mosquito bite it is not transmitted by uh, shaking hands by hugging someone so all these things must be known it is very important that how it is transmitted and how it is not transmitted if you know about this malaria malaria is transmitted by the anopheles mosquito it's not a respiratory borne disease right and it's not a gastrointestinal disease so our focus should be on prevention preventing mosquito bites and to prevent the uh, larva right from the growth <clears throat> okay so our prevention and control measures are focusing on those points so imagine the situation of cholera you know that cholera is a water borne disease and cholera is something which is very serious also because it causes severe dehydration and person can die because of this severe dehydration right within minutes you have to start very fast iv drip and uh, if that is not done the person may die because of severe dehydration right it can start within hours if you see incubation period of cholera incubation period means the point of start at the point and the manifestation of signs and symptoms right manifestation of signs and symptoms aaj agar meri body mein koi agent aaya koi bhi disease ka to meri body manifest kab karegi turant ki turant bahut jaldi nahi hota except food poisoning and cholera also cholera mein few hours thode se ghanton ke andar hi manifestation chalu ho jata so incubation period of cholera is few hours to 5 days right 5 din tak मैनिफेस्टेशन uh, आ सकते हैं सेम वे कोरोना का इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड क्या है टू डेज टू फोर्टीन डेज डेट्स वाई द क्वारंटाइन पीरियड वॉज फॉर फोर्टीन डेज क्वारंटाइन पीरियड इज फॉर मैक्सिमम इंक्यूबेशन तो इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड इन दैट वे इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो ही आइडेंटिफाइड सी अर्लियर वॉट वॉज थॉट अबाउट कॉलेरा अर्लियर वॉट वॉज थॉट अबाउट कॉलेरा बट नाउ वी नो दैट कॉलेरा इज अ वॉटर बॉन्ड डिजीज अर्लियर इट वॉज नॉट नोन इट वॉज थॉट टू बी 
Please uh, keep your uh, mic mute. Those who have kept it open, on. Please keep your mic mute. Don't keep it on. So earlier, uh, this cholera was attributed to have been caused by clouds, right? Nearer the cloud is cloud, cloud. Nearer the cloud is more are the chances of getting cholera. So the places which are at lower altitude uh, were found to be suffering from. Uh, or afflicted more from this cholera so and at that time in the earlier uh, times so cholera plague all these diseases were seen to cause severe epidemic and many and these used to uh, have a very heavy death toll right so london was also suffering from many a times suffered from cholera in the past so he just did an experimentation again he made an observation he identified two companies right which used to uh, give water these are water companies in london uh, southwell and maxwark and lambeth right so these two companies used to supply water now in one particular company the death cases because of cholera was high and the other company the death case of cholera was not high southwark and vexal uh, this was having high uh, death rate because of cholera now he what he did he used spot maps usne naksha mangaya london ka and he identified that where the distribution of the cases of this cholera death is more so identified that this particular company where the distribution is the death toll was high now he identified that what is actually from where this uh, company is fetching water to deliver the water to households he identified that uh, it was the water was actually mixed with sewage right so earlier times where there was no sewage line or wo sab nahi hoti thi directly the daily wash offs were actually uh, uh, directly had a layout in river and london is situated near thames river right so directly thames nadi mein sab jo refuse aur wo jo lay offs rehte hain wo sab chale jate the right excreta and uh, the water was also pumped out from the same place right so he actually identified that the water which is supplied by other water company that was actually not contaminated and see vibrio cholera was not identified at that time he made a point that this disease is something linked with water as one particular water company and the other particular co- water company they have different death rates so he made a spot map and he identified the persons who are suffering or uh, dying because of cholera from where this water is uh, taken from which particular portion of river and where uh, this uh, dispersed that was dispersed in uh, this river thames so he was able to make a point that it is something related to water and it is not the cloud theory again as we saw earlier also in case of ignas similwis opponents are always there whenever you want to prove something you have to have a resistance right aapka resistance aayega hi aayega agar aap sahi bol rahe hain aur baki logon ko lagta hai ki aap galat hain so it's very difficult to prove many a times right so opponents were also here and uh, they were also refuting his hypothesis because uh, it was refuted by his senior only william far william far he founded cloud theory actually it is known as miasma theory he was of the and uh, he was propounding that right miasma theory so william far actually refuted that this is not possible and he was able to prove that again it depends on your proving so it de- he made he uh, project he showed his spot map he made a 2 by 2 table total population uh, which particular water company is being supplied and what are the what is the death rate how many people have died so he was he was able to clearly prove that this is just because of the impure water contaminated water and nothing else so his suggestion was taken and that uh, this was this actually happened in soho in london broadwick street still till date that hand pump which actually uh, take that water uh, because through hand pump it was supplied at means in different streets hand pumps were there and that hand pump which was actually identified as that this is the uh, 
this is the hand pump through which water is supplied by that company and he take out he took out that uh, handle of that hand pump right and once the hand uh, handle was removed that water supply was stopped suddenly the cases of cholera reduced right so he was able to make clearly that it is related to water even though vibrio cholerae which was identified by robert koch a century later that what is actually there in water it was not known but water contaminated kharab pani hai usse cholera hoga lekin usme exactly pani mein kya hai wo nahi pata tha so vibrio cholerae was cholerae was identified by robert koch a century later right so you can see just that that linkage if it is found then also many things can be done so after that the water contamination was actually prevented by uh, the government and every measures were taken to prevent this contamination so that cholera did not occur and really the cholera cases reduced right because by now by at the, means by that time it was known that cholera is related with what right this is the hand pump which i am talking about so you can see that hand pump is there but handle is not there and this is a uh, town soho uh, in london broadwick street and that particular building which is seen it is john snow museum okay this is the spot map which he prepared you can see the dots where the uh, persons who are actually suffering is pointed out or deaths which actually occurred so this is what i am talking about so you can uh, in company supplying water southwark and vexel and lambeth the total population served and number of deaths from cholera you can see that cholera death rate per 1000 population was 5 in this first company and it is only 0.9 so it is clearly the water which is contaminated is shown okay i stop here i think time is over uh i stop here okay we will continue in the next class